Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've been on the Supra, had a bit of a break. I did post up the video of it starting. So if you haven't seen that video, it will kind of make this stuff make more sense. But we do have a, a car that runs now. So I've come back to work and I thought, instead of just tidying up the shop, we destroyed it. I didn't tidy up all the tools afterwards, after getting it running. Uh, so as part of tidying up, I'm, I'm just putting parts back in the back. I'm doing things like putting a sway bar on. Because we've opted for my aftermarket oil filter housing, the, the sway bar clears perfectly. A front sump oil filter housing fell on the steering rack. And a rear sump one isn't too bad, but you need to space the sway bar down. There's the sway bar in place. So plenty of room, oil filter housing. I've had a chat with the customer and I'm giving them a list of bits and pieces that they want to complete on the job. Power steering, I'm happy with the way that looks at the moment. It comes up along the side, it bled up quite nicely. Radiator sitting in the mounts. But we may need to whip it out and just give it a little bit more clearance around this uh, fan shroud. It's just quite close to those lines, so we'll give that a bit of a, a bit of relief. I'm not going to do too much today. Uh, I'm, I've got another job I need to do. I'm also going through, the customer had the steering rack out. So I'm going to put some split pins in the castle nuts. So that's safe. We might fire it up for you too. Uh, if you didn't watch the other video of it running, it'll make more sense if I, I actually fire this one up and make it go. Uh, the variable power steering solenoid, that's tucked in. That's all neat and tidy. And I've made the line for the alternator. But I... I just shoved a quick the old earth back on just to get it running, so I'm going to make up a new earth. So I've done all the wiring around the bottom of the fuse box. Now, I actually get really upset when people say, um, I've done all this, but I just need to tidy it up. And it still looks like a mess. However, this, I still just need to tidy that up a little bit. A few zip ties, a bit of shrink, shrink wrap, a few covers. There's a new bracket to be made for the battery. On the bonnet department, it actually fits apart from this bit here is fouling on the factory intake because we've chosen to leave the factory intake on it. So we're probably just going to trim that uh, shroud of the bonnet, those are oh, the, the bracketing supports. The cooling system has bled up. However, I've left the overflow bottle off once it's when it's cold because uh, I don't want it to suck the crap out of the bottle until that's cleaned. There's the cooler to go on the front for the uh, the oil cooler for the power steering. And the power steering has mostly stopped uh, whining and sucking air. So that's bled up. The biggest hold up is the clutch master cylinder didn't turn up before Christmas. Throttle cable arrived. So I'm happy about that. So as you can see, if you go inside, when we turn the key on, we actually get some lights. We get a catalytic converter light, with an engine check light, a rear tail light check, a battery light, and the turbo indicator. It starts up just like normal. It's a little bit loud without the exhaust. The alternator's charging. Oil pressure is showing. And it actually just sits and idles beautifully. So she's a little bit loud. That's all good. That'll be sorted when we put an exhaust on.
There's a uh, factory, there's a little bit of wiring that runs along here, along this guard for the uh, for a map sensor. And I've actually tucked that up under here. So I put it up under the guard and cable tied it in, and it'll be covered up by the inner guard. Still got the wiring to the computer to be finished off. There's a bit of conduit and sleeving in the boot. And the plug to go on for the heater tap. Which I might do that now too before I forget. So we've got a short list. I've got also got the wiring underneath the dash to do with the old turbo timer wires. And there's an old alarm in there. It's pretty ugly. And a speedo and a taco. I am running the factory fuel pump system. So it does bypass. Um, so it's got a dropping resistor and then it's got another relay to, to, to give it full voltage once you're up in the revs and That's why it works really well with the factory Lexus The only actual extra fuse I've added Is this one for the drive-by wire yeah, Apart from that it's all on standard. Oh, and I've added these two relays for the for the fans I've taken all those other relays away The air conditioning relays are all gone that's what I wanted. I wanted to hear that click. So these were the relays that I removed. These ones. So they're now spares. So a little bit of an update on the Supra. It's now got an air filter in it. Customer came in and did a few bits and pieces on it. Put some foam in here. Put some brackets for the radiator. So that side of things is all working. Today we are going to be fitting up a clutch master cylinder and hopefully that will give us a clutch. Here it is. So it's a factory one that's been bored out to 11 sixteenths. We're going to fit up the accelerator cable. So that's been lengthened by quite a bit. So the, pen, the uh, extension on that cable is quite long. And then I'm going to look at tidying all this crap up with the old alarm and turbo timer. This kind of stuff everywhere. So that's all coming out and hopefully making that look good. I'm pretty sure if I just take all the purple tape off, I'm going to be able to remove most of that fairly quickly. Throttle cable is fun because it's got to feed in from inside, but we're getting fairly good at that. Right, work time. Oh, and a taco and a speedo to make work. We popped the accelerator pedal in. Oh no, we popped the accelerator cable in. But look at this pedal, I'll just get us some light and hopefully we can see this okay. Look how much movement it is, and that's going sideways. So that is kind of crappy. So we're going to take that pedal out and repair it. The actual cable looks real good. We just altered this little bracket a little bit, and it sits in there nicely. In, and we got some free play. We can adjust that once we've got a pedal that actually has uh, is correct. So that's going to come that pedal. A couple of washers welded onto the pivot points should do the job and solve it. Hopefully, so here's our pedal. And this is where the movement is in here. So I think a couple of washers tacked inside on the inside should solve our problem. Clutch master cylinder bleeding tips. Bleed it before you put it in. Good there. Oh, I'm making a mess. Looks good to me. Can you come guide me in please Mike? I'll go on the inside and hold it open and you give it a push from the outside. How's that? That's it, beauty. Keep coming. Today's technical tip, 
lube your pitten before you put it in because there's nothing worse when a squeak when you're pumping it. So after that bleed outside, that, that initial bleed, I've just pumped the clutch a few times. Now this has got an internal release bearing, so I've just pumped it like that. Let's have a look at this clutch. Woohoo! Starts! First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Make sure you've got to go all the way to the floor. She's a short ass, like me, so you've got to make sure you go all the way to the floor. So I screw it a bit of adjustment now, trying to level up these pedals, make it look a bit better. New gasket. Make sure the bush goes in straight. Woohoo! Um, I want to squeeze this boot on. Can you lube me up? Makes it much easier to put the boots on when they're lubed. Give me the silicon spray and I'll just silicon spray this whole shaft. I'll lube the whole shaft and I reckon it'll go on there. That big black shaft. Yeah, the big black shaft. So I've got a knobby bit in the middle, which is a bit, bit of a pain. It'll smell good in here now. Yeah. Wish me luck. Whew. Down here, that's down here, socket. I got, uh, here's your silicon in the back again. You can put that away now. Away. And I'll put the pedal in, eh? Here, Mike has, Mike has repaired the pedal. There we go. A lot less sideways movement. Not so floppy in those bushes. It's much better. Yeah, as you see here, he's welded some washers in, and I've just got to pot it in. That's heaps better. It can't be far away from full noise because I can feel where it hits the gears, which is there. Gears at like three quarter. It's full. Yeah. We got full throttle? Yeah. It's actually without that play in it. It's not even actually even hitting the floor now. Yeah. So can't, can't floor it, yeah. Oh you can just hit the floor. You physically mash it into the floor. Can you put your foot on the accelerator for me please? We've got plenty of free play here. It's good. Don't make them too tight. Hold it full throttle. Yeah, it's definitely full throttle. So there's full throttle here. Perfect. Let it off. That's awesome, mate. We got clutch. We got a throttle. Woo hoo! Turbo timer removed. That one was quite straightforward. It was a plug in and then an earth because it had this adapter that had then been tapped into for the alarm so that was meant to be plug in for the turbo timer with the turbo timer outlets on it and then someone has, as I said, some tapped into this alarm so next is to decipher all this alarm wiring and work out how to get that out how hard can it be? Fortunately, with this job, wherever they fit it up wires, I've used these connectors. So it's pretty much find each of those connectors, trace the uh, purple tape, remove connectors, put a little bit of tape around so it's insulated and put it back together. So it shouldn't take me too long, hopefully, to get rid of this crap. We can actually get on to doing something that's really related to this video, which is uh, this conversion, which is getting a taco and a speedo going.
There's those bloody joiners behind the dash too. Mm, that's interesting. And this one's different in the speedo. The MA70 had a little unit it ran to. It's going to make me and give me a new challenge. <laughs> Alarm and turbo timer removed. And a whole lot of mess and purple tape. Rubbish. Nah, that's good. It looks fantastic actually. That's correct. Now just see how you look on length. So we've we've got a little bit of an issue with the speedo. The last one I did, the cable came up to a unit out from the main cluster and I was able to just link into that and this one doesn't so we may need to fit the cable Is that cable going to kind of go? Yeah, very close to the crossbow, look. Yeah, but it will actually fit, eh? So if we come up here, we can probably almost get through. We've got to have an exhaust for here, remember? So it might actually work. So if I can find a drive. I don't have a plan yet. No, it's got to go back in. Catch it, put it back in. So we're getting to the end of the conversion and I missed that this one didn't have the digital dash in it. Just not paying attention. So there's our one stuff up for the conversion. So we refitted the speedo cable, piece of cake. Well, Mike did. Here we go. We put up, we swapped the drive from the electronic one to the cable drive, which I managed to have one, and ran that cable back into place. So now I just have to sort the speedo. Uh, you can do that cover here while you're waiting in. We'll put a cover here, build up a rubber cover for that. It looks good. That, so, in like that. So that's filled with all in. Got the key. Are we off the ground? Maybe this is a Maybe it's the one that was hooked in my ear. Yeah. We are off the ground, eh? I've still got a turbo light. Yeah. Why don't you take the bulb out? Well, I was wanting to. I thought I got that one.
but it's like, that's what everybody else does. It's good. So there is a chance if I take this on here, and I take this on here, that the taco might actually start to work. Yep. That. 750-ish. That might actually be pretty close. Seven lights to move, so. Put it with the turbo light. Now let's um. Well, you can always change it to Lexus power, and then it would be the red light. Lexus power. I'll get it. Right. Um. Scan tool. RPM. A bit low then. So that's showing a bit low? Yeah, 750. So it's probably about um, a quarter out. Bring the revs up. Bring it up to 2000. Red. Black. There you go. If it smokes, that's bad. I think they're slightly out, but I'm no expert. What, what are we at? About 4,000 RPM. You think that's a bit high? Dropped to 700. Didn't sound any different to when we were last running it. Yeah, it's different. I actually wonder if there's a um, adjusty module in the back of that dash. Turned off, let's whip the dash out and I'll have a look and see if there's an adjusty module in there, right? It doesn't seem to have a little potentiometer. These only came out six cylinder, eh? Mm. So no four cylinder options, so no potentiometer like the surfs. So I have to put an adjustment box on it. But how do I get rid of this bloody light? So really exciting. You put that back in. If you turn it on and that turbo light comes on, I'm just putting the solder iron straight through the center of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. And I'll do another box, eh? Just a crude um, plastic. Uh, yeah, I'll do another box. What you got there? It's not 2000 RPM. Um, Up. Up. Sorts of weird things until it's had a good run and it got an exhaust on it. Can you please tell me the RPMs? Yeah, it's 750. So a little bit high. So on here it's 715. Yeah. Bring it up to a thousand, please. Thousand and 
15, that's pretty close, bring it up to 1500. You gotta make it two grand. That's like 14, that's like 1500 there. about seven oh there seven fifty there six hundred seven hundred there seven hundred ish yeah, it's out a little bit move around a little bit that's that's close enough they can adjust it once we everything's settled oh, I want to check those oxy sensors are working and I'll see if Luke wants us to put it back together Good man, good off. Whoop, whoop. Let's get down the ground and go for a drive. Mike, oh, you come for a drive. We've got a check light. We've got a catalytic converter light. We've got no turbo light. We've got a battery light. They all go out. We've got some brakes. Works. Reversing paper works. Steering wheel not very straight. No. Well, that's first gear. Drive's done. 